Yo, what's up? It's Alex here, and today we're going to be opening up my university grades. For reference, I go to Loughborough University and I study electrical engineering. I worked pretty hard, as in, when it was time to revise, I revised. I didn't take the piss, so I'm not expecting to fail. I'm not going to be like, oh, did I fail? Because I know I didn't fail. I know I'm saying that before the camera, but I hope I didn't at least, and I did put the effort in. So we'll see. The results came out a few days ago, but I just I got just completely forgot about them. I was just doing my own thing. Uh, but yeah, let's let's check it out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. El Boro. There it is. My results. Ooh, I'm gonna kick it. Results for F027704, Mr. Alexander Gornick. Electronic and Electrical Engineering Part A. Okay. Ooh. You know what? I actually did decent. Oh, actually, wait, let me, let me, let me. Check it out, check it out there. Oh. Do you know what? I am very proud of these results. And I say that because I didn't expect this to go this well. And I, you, I'm i good at maths. That's why, as you can see, I don't get below 80% in my maths exams. Um, but, oh. So what you're seeing here is my first year of university. And I think I did pretty well. I got my my part mark, which I don't exactly know what that represents, is 73.6. So let's round that up to 74%. That's, I think, my average for the whole year, which is a first. So I will take that. Um, so let, let, let's, let's, let's talk about these modules, if you, especially if you want to do electrical engineering, because most people who do electrical engineering have extremely similar modules because you just can't really divert too much in this subject. It's very specific. Cool. So core maths one is basically A levels with a bit of spice. You do. I never did further maths, so I got to do like matrices for the first time, which was very interesting. And for core maths two, it was a lot of integration and statistics. The statistics was kind of basic, but the integration did get a bit saucy, but it was okay. As you can see, I did get 89%, so we'll take that. Digital systems was a bit mad. If you don't do computer science, it was just it was just a bit of a crazy one. There's loads of, um, you start with logic gates and Boolean algebra, and you get to then do sequential systems which is just super confusing i've never seen something like that and you have these very strange diagrams um electrical science a i really 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 enjoyed that module very interesting one it has a lot of physics and maths a lot like you cannot you cannot do this module without a very very solid understanding of the fundamentals of electronics um and differentiation and integration basically without calculus and physics you can't do this module however if you do like if you if, if you, you are good at it you really enjoy this module it's very interesting and i did only get 66 percent however i say only but it was one of my lowest marks it was challenging and i really enjoyed it electrical circuits this starts off with v equals ir what you did basically in year nine GCSE. And then it just kind of exponentially rises to, to solving star delta circuit systems. And I understand why we were taught this, but I remember when I was doing this module at the start, I was like, whoa, this is going, this is going, this is crazy. <laughs> so, so I, like, I mean, it was a good module. I, I, I would give it, I would give it like a 6.5 out of 10. It was a bit basic and then it just went all the way up all of a sudden and it was just, it was a bit chaotic. And it was in the first semester and I was very unserious in the first semester. Industrial group project. You know what? This was a very strange module because it was obviously COVID and we never really got the opportunity to work as a team. Most of this, most of this stuff that we were doing was online. So it wasn't the best. However, for what it was, it was actually pretty good. And the last one was programming and software design. And 
that module was very interesting because I did computer science at A-level and I was actually decent at programming. I did Python. However, we had to learn C here. And the problem with C is it's very old fa it's a very old fashioned programming language. So I struggled, let's just say. However, I did, I did I put an extreme amount of effort into this module. And because it was a 50% 50, 50 of the module marks came from um, the coursework, I decided that I'll put I'll put the shifts in and I got 80% in my coursework, so I'll take that. All right, that's enough speaking about uh, my uh, results. And I'm gonna give you a bit of advice in terms of the first year of university at um, for do when you're doing electrical engineering. And firstly, I would say, don't get too stressed about, about doing coursework, especially if you're at Loughborough. Um, I don't know how it is in other universities, but you have loads of labs. And with those labs, you get coursework. Those those labs are usually worth two percent of your of your of your whole module mark. And I remember when I was first when I first came to uni and I got my first set of labs, and it was you know the lecturer was telling you, is you know this is two percent worth of your, your of your of your whole grade, and you start shaking your pants because you're like oh my god you know I just started and this is already gonna cast my grade, and you sit there for hours and hours trying to figure it out. Truth is what's going to give you the most bang for your time is actually sitting there and revising for your exams not doing your coursework unless it was uh, the programming module which was worth 50 percent but your whole coursework is worth um i think 30 percent and in that 30 percent sometimes it's broken down into other things so don't worry too much like literally but just attempt it try your best but do not waste your whole life on your coursework and second point is, I would say when you start off, make sure you're good at maths because you cannot pass this first year of, of electrical engineering without good maths. And there is, there is a, there's a very good reason why they tell you you need to have maths and usually physics as well to study this subject because otherwise it's just gonna be long. So please, if you're watching this and you wanna do electrical engineering next year, get good at maths. Otherwise, you're just gonna cry. And the last piece of advice is don't look at everyone else. You know, most people have an easier subject. It's just simple as, and there was many times when there's like parties going on and everything, but I just, I, I can't. During exam season at Loughborough, it was beautiful. There were people with swimming pools outside their halls and my flatmates were chilling there, like drinking beer on the bench. It was, it was lovely, but I couldn't, I, I just, I had to revise my six hours a day during that two during those two weeks because otherwise it would just be long. I'm not saying electrical engineering is special in a sense, but from what I've seen, you have to put more effort in than the average university student. It's just that it's just it's just that it's just how it is. That's what I can really say. And yeah, I I would say just be prepared for to work hard because I didn't give you like a crazy oh my god calling my mom because you kind of know what to expect. It's the same thing with any results that you you know, you, you know if you put your effort in and you receive what you deserve, it's, it's with anything. So thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this, hit a subscribe and a like. Thank you.